Oh, here we are. Just into the press office. They've given me this blooming great big press pack, which I've now got to carry around with me. Oop. Here it is. That's the new model. Oh, all locked. We'll have a look, no doubt. Advance, there's the little one. The 66, 66 2. One thing I did like about these was they're on the 160 brake horsepower engine. 3,500 kilograms and it says a user payload of 800 which is a really good payload it's just over six and a half meters so it's a very sort of familiar layout to a lot of people the end 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 bathroom and a kitchen and that's the other one we'd, we'd probably be looking at is the same layout as ours a 76 40 oh there's a out of the light again 3500 kilograms user payload slightly less now is 593 and it's just under 7.6 meters it's got our sort of layout the rear bed All right, let's start at the back of the van. Uh, uh, start at the back of the van. So there's a granite effect shower, line, fully lined shower, shower head, sink here, cupboard underneath, Thetford toilet, and the wardrobe's in here. So I'd say it's like a three-quarter wardrobe, but there's a big space above. I suppose you could extend that and make increase your hanging space moving out got single beds men got the these all got USBs on them so that's handy I think at this show I've got to try and resist opening all the lockers but you have got these big double door lockers the lockers are huge in here it's got soft clothes on it that's good caravan style worktop here I guess you put your, could put your telly there always find the trouble with that because is you're having having to move it all the time you have got your TV point there open locker hmm not so sure about open lockers I think you'd end up putting a strap over that if you were to use it or moving stuff out of it Dometic fridge, three-way Dometic fridge. Little combi oven, tried and trusted. Three burner hob. Obviously, so you got your sink here as well with a chopping board, and yeah, and a washing up bowl. There you go, washing up bowl. I don't know if the cups come with it. Microwave above the sink always gets criticism if it's above the cooker, so that's good. Plenty of roof lights here. And you've got the front opening roof light as well. Reasonable sized sofa. That's comfy. That's good. Lots of lots of lots of springiness. Front seats are very comfortable. It's a nice wide table that is, with a foldable leg. So obviously use that as part to make up the the bed. If you're using the bed at the front, that's nice and easy. That's uh, just looking at the blinds here. Oh yeah, so that the click on. That's nice. It's good. Nice and simple to use. Plenty of sockets everywhere. Two sockets here. Not above the sink, I notice. And these lockers are quite tall, so you can fit your all brown in there. Yeah, overall, first impressions. 
Yeah, it's good. I like it. All right, that's interesting there. Locker here, I think you probably use for your cavalry. That's a gas locker there, I just realised. So there's no opening on it. I noticed you've got uh, outside aerial point. That's your gas locker, that's in the middle. There's a little locker here. Nice simple back. Blimey, that's some park in there. Alright, so this is a 66.2, uh, 3500, 800 kilogram payload, so a nice big payload. Electric point there, and you've got your, your satellite sort of TV hookup. So this one, huge big sofas, and you've got your TV point there. Again, I'm not keen on those open lockers, but there you go. Huge lockers. You've got to test the sofa, haven't you? Oh, they're long. That goes, if you can see that, that goes back a long way. So, I'm, I'm quite tall, but... My knees are there, so they're a deep sofa, and obviously being a wider van, quite a bit of space there. But you could definitely sleep on these lengthways. I think that's the idea. Obviously, it could be, become single beds. Let's have a look at the lockers. Yeah, big deep locker. Right, not sure about this little locker at the bottom here. I suppose that would be a cutlery drawer, but it's just a bit of a pain having to bend down to get get at that. Microwave. Let's have a look at the bathroom. Yeah, very similar to the other one. The granite effect shower. And sink. A clear window. I always end up with the blind down anyway. Toilet. Yeah, and a single a single wardrobe. That's probably adequate. Yeah. It's got the Truma iNet heating. Fly screens on the door. Usual safety equipment. And there's your control panel. And there's a big mirror. What's your table live in here? I oh, know. No. I don't know where the table lives. Ah, there's the table. Got its own cooker. Cooker. Got its own locker. Cooker. Cooker's on the brain. So this is a 762, and the one we would be interested in is 762T with the travel seats. This has got the twin sofas again, and it's got a French bed at the back with a rear bathroom. So the payload on this is 700. Again, it's fr license friendly 3500. Three Let's have a look. So you've got a slightly shorter sofa here. Longer sofa there. Oh, sorry. Didn't realise there was someone in it. <laughs> right, so this is the French bed layout. Let's have a look at the bathroom. A little dressing table there. It's a good sized bathroom. Again, you've got your shower, granite effect. Sort of expecting a wardrobe there, it's a little cupboard. We've 
lumber here with this great big bag, so <laughs> having to carry this everywhere. Uh, yeah, and that's a big long wardrobe. So yeah. Room for shoes down there. Again, gas locker, table, somewhere to put your TV. Heating controls. Yeah, it's a good layout. Right, well the press launch is over, the show's just started. So there's going to be a lot of people about shortly, so I'm going to have a little wander, see what we can see. I think we'll come back and we'll have a look at the autograph range. I'm sure Jenny will want to have a look at the Alliance again. And uh, let's see what we can see. Well, there's something you don't see every day pop-up hatch on a caravan so it opens up the whole of the back of the caravan this is a that's uh, a canals twin axle climber canals dissio very unusual caravan big wide area to get in oh, so. Look. Bathroom at the back. It's more of a wet room. I don't think it's got a shower in it. But yeah, different. It's like a it's like a caravan camper van. Ah, oh, a drop down bed. Yeah, pop up TV. Looks like these cupboards are removable. Yeah, let me fix the cupboards anyway, change them around. So it's very useful if you've got a quad bike or something like that, I guess. Yeah, different. So this is the Eldest 194, it's at Preston Caravans. And 3,500. Oh, payload, 528. So you've obviously got a big lock out the back. Let's have a look. Twin sofas. Your attention please. The show will be opening in approximately 45 minutes. Plenty of time there. Exhibitors, please ensure the aisles and gangways around your stand are clear. So you've got, so you've got a um, electric hob, four gas burner, oven and grill under there. That's good. You've got this uh, big single come double bed. Presumably you've got steps up there. You've got this unit here, which presumably comes out. Got some steps in there. I always find it doesn't give you much headroom in here though. If you're on the bed and you sit up suddenly, I think you bang your head. TV point there. Access, I guess, to the butcher garage beyond. Yep, can't really see that. But there. Not a huge amount of workspace on the kitchen. Like us, you have to put the. Uh, not sit down. Sofa. Let's look in the bathroom. More of a wet room, really. Wheel arch intrusion. Yeah, and it's a uh, plastic floor. Hmm, okay. Russell Hobbs microwave. Not sure if the toaster comes with it. 
it's whale eating which is unusual yeah so this is the hello hiya so this is the Eldis Supreme 185 50,000 pounds let's have a look this time a bigger sofa on the near side same sort of layout as the 194 but you've got the twin beds now for us this is a much more sensible arrangement and they're lower down no clambering up steps and everything reasonably compact rear bathroom but I suppose nice big wardrobe I don't know, strange when they put carpets in the shower, but I like the shower, that's good. Yeah, got a soap dish. Oh, very nice. See, I can't resist opening a locker. USB points there. Good. Something to charge, I presume the telly goes on there. You've got a screen here, so you can screen this area off. If someone was sleeping in this, this little bed here, yeah, it's good. Open locker at the front, the fly screen there. This is a Peugeot. Not that that makes any difference. Little lockers here. We go all the way down there. Standard fridge, Dometic fridge. Thetford, Mike, um, Thetford oven and grill. Yeah, what a nice little van. Little van, big van. A table. Oh, it's one of those tables you can put outside. That's always a good sign. I always like that. So you don't have to carry another table with you when you want to sit outside. Yeah. Again, not a huge amount of work surface preparation area. So this is the Eldest Supreme 175. So a big twin sofas. It looks like a big bathroom at the back. Let's have a look. It, oh wait a minute, it's three thousand five hundred and a payload six five two. So that's not bad. So it's like a big small van, if you know what I mean. Because you've got a massive sofa. Again, there could be single beds. Yeah, you can just you can fall asleep on those. That's good. Which find after looking at some of the vans they often look the same but this is different particularly the kitchen layout there again limited space preparation space and it's the beam me up scotty type shower but yeah perfectly good toilet little cupboard in there for your, your bits and bobs looks like there's a massive wardrobe here oh my goodness look at this I didn't expect he wasn't expecting that well you can't see it can you ah that's a nuisance well it's got a, a locker inside the wardrobe well, that's quite novel it is novel yeah so, so it's three drawer locker inside the wardrobe see if I can get some light, light on that when I edit this but different definitely different Russell Hobbs ah, and a bigger Dometic fridge freezer so you've got freezer compartment in this one yeah TV point there. We've actually put a bracket in there. That's good. Yeah. 
I like this one. Quick look at the Marquis Benny van. Payload's 500. Travel six. I don't think it makes much of a lounge here, but I suppose that doesn't matter if you've got a little table there. Start to the back. Lovely long sofas. These are lovely. Oh yeah, that's quite nice. Cozy in here. Bag is a pain. Table in there. Decent size wardrobe for a little van. Yeah, that looks like a, a normal type fridge, a normal absorption type fridge. Microwave down there. It's different because it does away with the need to have an oven. I don't like those travel seats, that's nicely sculptured. Sculpted? Sculptured. Yeah, a good sized weight room. Yeah, it's quite nice. So this is the I don't know how to pronounce this Ren Ranger. Okay. stand up now. Yeah. Put in your headroom once you're in. Panel there. Little compressor fridge. Blockers. Comfy looking seats. Sink. Two burner hob. This is on the the new Fiat, is it Teleno? More of a car-like driving position. Fly screens up here. I think it's got a look at the here. Locker behind. Plenty of storage space here. More magazine pouches. Zoom this pulls out to make the bed. Oh, I'm knackered already. Um, yeah, no, I like this little van. It's like little vans. If you can have a little van and a big van, I'll be happy there. But the show is about to start. I think I'm going to make my way over, see how our aliens getting on, see what we see on the way. Yeah, so it's £41,000, it's got a payload of 525. Yeah. Good. Right, so this is the Swift Contiki 650. Which is £96,145. And it's a C1 license, so it's 5,000 kilograms. So, a big van. And a folding half table. Travel seats here. This is one without the overhead bed. Good size work surface. Full size cooker, electric hob. One of these double, yeah, double door fridges. You can open it that way as well. And fridge freezer, microwave, oldest central heating, and it's got like a central mirror. And behind that is your bed. 
I'd have to check how wide that is. I like the window at the back, the curved window. Little lockers. A TV point here. Oh, the shower's here. Okay. A little bit dark in here again. I'll have to bring me light tomorrow, I think. But yeah, very nice. Stylish shower. Towel radiator. Oh, Swift are just doing their pep talk, I think. There's a wardrobe there. With the Aldi heating. Oh, no, you're not going to see that. Aldi heating's in there. done away with that carousel thing, thank goodness. So you've got shelves. This table definitely helps, I like that. Presumably you can leave this table in place. Yeah. Don't know if that's a reversing camera. So this is the Comanche, 8.7 metres, uh, gross train weight, 6,000. You need a big licence for this one. A big licence. You need a C1 licence. Wow, look at the sofa in here. Huge sofa. With the advert running in the background. So no travel seats in this one, just a huge big lounge. Plenty of workspace. seems to be a similar or a new model of ours. Well, the big electric hot plate, wow. Well, the fan starts up as soon as you lift that up. Beam me up, Scotty. Oh, oh. oh there's open. Oh, no, they open that way. Yeah. Excellent shower. Wouldn't expect anything less, I guess. Nice island bed. Good hanging space, it's deep as well. You've got your Audi heating in there as well. Lockers above the bed. TV point, I guess, is over there. It doesn't seem to have a mounting point, unless I'm mistaken. Right. It's a smallish shower, uh, a smallish toilet, really. But then, because you've got the Ability to close off the door. I like these fridges. Sort of fridge. I'm not sure what sort of what make that is. Oh yeah. yeah it's a good size fridge. What can I think? Yeah, okay. Big drawer for your pots and pans. table locker there. Held the heating of course. Look at all the lockers there. Again you can't can't see it in this light but it's an automatic. Great van for two people. For doing full timing, I guess. So this is the Auto Trail Tracker V. Uh, sorry, Auto Trail V Line 634 SE. It is, isn't it? It's good, isn't it? Sofas in the back. So you've just got the travel seats at the front. That's a big. Yeah, it's a huge fridge for a camper van. Look at that. It's enormous. So this is because you haven't got the lounge area at the front. 
combi oven, three burner grill. And not a bad size shower. Shower curtains, unfortunately, but because that's just keep the water off the door. Ladies and gentlemen, the NCC Motor Home and Caravan Show 2018 is now open for business. All right. We would like to wish all our exhibitors a very successful day. Yeah, a really nice sofa at the back. Use this as a single bed, I think. I think this one's longer than that one. Yeah. And that's got a, by well, looks of it, a sat nav. Yeah, I like this. The front seat doesn't need to swivel, I guess, but. But it does. I've right, got a swivel on it. Yeah, like that. Right. So we're doing the time trial at the moment. Oh, all right, okay. Um, it's the Top Gear leaderboard. Yeah. And at the end of the week, whoever gets the top score will win a motor home uh, remote control. Oh, that's fab. <laughs> yeah. So what we ask? So this is the Bursna City Car Harmony Line C603. The payload, in case anyone's asking, is 535. Well, this is an interesting van. It's got a different lounge here. It's got like a table unit here. I suppose that's the way how the, your clothes go. It's got like a sideboard underneath. Space for bottles, that's what that is. Another locker there. A swing out table. Leather seats. Automatic, this one. Locker space over there. Oven sink, no oven. Shower. Nice little touches like the hanging rail there. And hooks along there. Again, they like the mirrors in here. But this is, I uh, suppose, the, the reason for the van. Uh, I suppose the bed goes length, lengthways, crossways, but you can lift it up and obviously get bikes in there because you've got hooks at the bottom. Put your bikes. Mm. Presumably this is the fridge. Yeah, certainly different. I think I'd struggle to sleep lengthways across there. And I suppose they've got cutouts at the edge there to make it a bit wider. But yeah, definitely different. Let's see to put lights in the wardrobe there. Uh, lots of lockers everywhere. Also, like there's underfloor uh, locker there as well. Automatic, like I said. Yeah, it's quite nice. Not sure about the plugs above the sink. It's upside down, that one. A little base camp. We can win this. dark in there but I don't think they want you to see in. Well from the other end of the century. Oh look at that tow hitch. Stained glass windows. Like bicycle wheels. So this was made in St Albans, Angela Caravan, T1. 
10 foot by 6 foot 2 berth, 1923, by Caravan Company of Flamstead near St Albans. Called Angela. Well, it's the Angela Caravan. Very nice. It's tucked away in uh, Alan's Caravans. Yeah, very nice. Right, that's it for today. I think I'll warm myself out. I've been here about three hours. Uh, seen a few things. I'm coming back tomorrow, Jenny will come with me tomorrow and uh, perhaps we'll be able to get a bit more organised having a look at uh, what we need to have a look at. If you've got any requests or anything, let us know uh, anything you want to see and we'll do that. So give us a like, remember to subscribe, hit the notifications, hit the notifications icon and we'll catch up with you soon.